For God's sakes, I've only been out of university not even a year. I don't understand why in the world I should expect to have things roll around my way. I've had a lot of friends who have been very upset by the fact that they've only been out not yet a year and they haven't broken. Charles Saatchi hasn't come knocking at their door. <laughs> my name's Alexander Connor. I'm 22 years old. Uh, I live in Philadelphia. Uh, make about $12,000 a year and uh, I'm an artist. I work at the Philadelphia Museum of Art in uh, two departments. I work in the telemarketing department as well as education, uh, working with students in the student center. That's about 36 hours a week. Uh, I end up being able to spend the rest of the time keeping my head in the art. I work only to kind of sustain the ability to make my own art and um, pay my bills. So I make a grand a month. So 475 of that is to um, rent. 75 of that is to uh, utilities. 200 of that is to savings. 50 to 75 dollars is food. And then the resulting is money to buy supplies, get film processed, um, you know, whatever else I need really. I work with materials that are largely free. A lot of the paper that I've gotten recently have been from uh, the museum surplus materials that they're going to throw away. I like that. This is going to be a really basic bread because um, I ran out of ingredients and ran out of money for my last paycheck and payday is until Thursday. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be flour, baking soda, yeast. I mean, it's frankly cheap to make. I don't know why more people don't make their own bread. At every payday, my one treat to myself is uh, I go to the Wawa market in the morning and I buy myself a cup of coffee and I buy myself, they make these things that are disgusting. They're saccharine sweet, these apple fritters. Oh God, they're so good. I don't know how they're so good, but it's my payday treat and I think that comes out to like three bucks. This is Basically, my big confusing the concept of a want with a need. I don't need to smoke. If you asked me, I would tell you I needed to, but really I want to. I could quit, theoretically. Since the beginning of the year, I've made about 50 prints and drawings of merit that I really dig, and um, photographs, uh, 400. 500. I, I have to make. If, if I couldn't, what else would I do? And um, I'm, a, I'm a very good artist. I mean, I basically work on the floor over here. This is where I make all my work. Um, usually on sheets of cardboard like this, so I get a regular texture. I'm not going over lines or bumps. I was very blessed, actually. After graduating college, I have no student debt. My parents were kind enough and to be able to pay for it. If I did, this would not be a game plan that I could really work with. It's between buying paint and buying yeah. dinner. If you're not one of those people, you won't kind of survive. It's good that those people won't be out in the marketplace as much. It just won't be a viable career opportunity. My five-year plan, yeah, I'd like to sustainably be making my art. I mean, if I, if I could achieve that, which is a huge achievement, to be able to support yourself on your own work, that'd be wonderful.